great job uh, coming out, playing with intensity, with effort. I thought the second half was great when we came out and we was 5 for 5. I think we went on a 15 3 run, uh, kind of put the game away. And, you know, I, I just thought they was playing great basketball. Um, you know, before this, um, you know, Orlando had them, you know, playing, moving the basketball. They was playing great defense. Our guys was really, really focused. And, you know, for us to win our sixth game on the road, that's big time for us. And I thought the guys shared the basketball. They played together. They had a synergy about themselves. And that's what we want to continue um, in this last three games and uh, going to the AAC tournament, uh, playing our best basketball. Question, Kim, was that maybe one of the more complete games you played this year on both sides of the ball? Yeah. I mean, that's 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 up there. Uh, and the whole of the team that's been shooting 51% the last two games. And, you know, you know, I love them. The McMary kid. You know, all the guys have been playing good. And just to hold them for, you know, not get going and all of those guys. I mean, I thought our defensive execution was great. We focus on defense a lot. Um, we've been slacking in that area, and we've been slacking in rebounds. So I thought our focus on, you know, um, manning up on our man and, and having attention to detail and us hitting first um, really kind of took them out the game. We was able to get some fast break points, get some easy buckets, and I thought our shooting was outstanding. Uh, we haven't shot the ball like this in a while, especially from the three-point line. Kevin, how were you able to get underneath or behind their zone so consistently? I mean, ball? we just worked on it a lot, and, you know, it's not – I mean, when you do that, the ball is not sticking. And I thought the ball didn't stick today. Uh, wasn't guys just trying to play do me basketball and dribble between three people. They was really moving the basketball. And our bigs were so effective sliding and getting into the open area. So, you know, we knew we, they was going to play zone. They've been playing zone pretty much the whole whole year. We struggled against Cincinnati in our zone. And we just, you know, went to work. Uh, you know, but I, I, like I always say, coaching is overrated. It's the guys that execute the plays. And I thought they did. Uh, from, from a fantastic job, just executing, moving the basketball, getting behind the zone, and you know everybody came in and contributed. And I thought that was a great job um, by our players, just really focusing, in, locking in, especially in shoot around. I just saw them really locked in, so you know I'm glad that shoot around carried over to the game, and that's what it usually does. Coach, talk about your defense. You hold a team under 50 points. That's got to be a great defensive effort. Yeah, it was a great defensive effort. I thought Amita played well, Sean played well, but we did an outstanding job on the guards. And I thought our ball pressure really bothered them. We got in some blues, which we call uh, pick and roll defense, not letting them turn the corner and attack the nail, uh, which we call right at the free throw line. I thought we did a great job protecting that, and then we wanted to flood the ball, the ball side. So whenever the ball got swung, we wanted to flood that and have five guys, have five guys on that side. I thought we did a great job with that. The only thing I'm disappointed was a little bit that we fouled too much, got them in a penalty early um, in the second half. But, you know, a coach got to find something uh, to be mad at. That's just part of our job. And you got to Steven uh, in there early yep. today, and he looked like he made he a pretty effective contribution. Yes, he did a real good job, and that's just him being focused. Um, you know, I told the kid to get in shape a little bit more, uh, work on his defense, and you know, the credit to him, I mean, he's been knocking down Coach I's, you know, uh, door every time saying, I need to run, I need to run, I need to get in shape. And, um, you know, that's just a credit to him. I mean, he did a phenomenal job. He's always ready to practice hard each and every day. And, you know, he's going to be a great player for us in the, in the future. And his future is now. You know, we're going to, you know, give him all the opportunities he can, he, he can manage out there. And then, you know, field is going to be alive still. Cause we don't need everybody. You know how it goes. Um, games that we're playing, uh, you know, getting ready for the tournament where you possibly can be playing three games in a row, possibly four games in a row, depending on how we finish the season. But I really love the guys, their intensity, uh, shoot the ball the way we did, and then play the defense that we did was outstanding, and I'm very proud of them. And, you know, everybody, I, I just want to make sure they're grateful. Um, you know, even after the defeat, you know, you get an opportunity to compete again. And, you know, most people don't get this opportunity to put on this jersey, and I want them guys to really understand that. And they did that in practice. They focused in on practice. And, you know, I'm really proud of them uh, to come out and get this game. And the way they did it, you know, because I was very, you know, kind of disappointed with the Cincinnati law. Jalen back in the starting lineup, just the reasoning for that? I mean, you know, I just wanted to make a change. And, you know, uh, he had a leg injury a little bit. You know, um, he was struggling a little bit in uh, shoot around, but he uh, he gutted it through. He fought through it, and you know uh, he played well. Um, you know, just gives us another guy that can 
you know, break the defense down, get in the lane. When we struggled a little bit in the beginning of the game, you know, inserting him back in, he made some great interior basketball plays and passes. So, you know, uh, you know it's a good situation for him. I like how he handled um, the disciplinary part of it, too. He handled it like a man, and uh, he kept getting better, didn't make no excuses. You know, he apologized for what he did. And, uh, you know, you don't have to do that. You apologize with how you practice and how you come back from it. And that's what we all about with our program, how we recover from mistakes. And I thought he did a beautiful job today. And um, I thought he did a beautiful job. He's getting back in the floor of things. Coach, from the end of the first half to the beginning of the second, you go on a 31-7 run. You're passing up good shots for great shots. Yeah. Did that make you happy to see that? That made me ball? happy. Sometimes I don't smile over there, but I'm really happy inside. So, um, you know, it really made me happy sharing the basketball. We got 21 assists. The only thing I didn't like to lose, you know, Rodney throwing it off the backboard. I don't like none of that stuff. You know, let's play solid. Didn't like Jalen going behind the back, getting a turnover. That's not Connecticut basketball. And, you know, we let those guys know that you can't play basketball that way. We want to play solid basketball fundamental basketball where we do want to share the game and I think we stay connected by sharing the basketball. That's, that's, that's the one common thing you have in, in basketball. you got five players but the ball is the one thing you got in common. So I just really thought the ball movement was great. And everybody fed off of that. Rodney got really hot. Um, it was good to see him uh, shoot the ball the way he did. Um, so I'm very excited of him because he gives us another uh, guy off the bench that can come in and just change the whole tempo of the game. So. He did a wonderful job, and his defensive effort, him and Jalen um, McMurray, was, was the key to the game, I really think. What were some of the things that were able to do defensively uh, against Jamal McMurray? You guys had different defenders. What were you guys able to do? Um, we just put ball pressure on and made him make tough twos. I told the guys um, in shoot around, don't get frustrated because he's going to hit some great shots because he's a great player. But I wanted them to stay determined, and I think they stayed determined the whole game and stop him. So, it's frustration versus determination. And I thought I got to stay on the determination side and not put their head down because he made some tough floaters, made some tough threes. But all in all, we did a, a great job on him. Kevin, Phil, Phil Nolan, is he, is he okay? Just a coach's decision? Or? Yeah, he's okay. Everybody's okay. And, you know, I just felt like uh, he not wanted to play. And, you know, it's all right. Phil's going to play the next game. Hopefully, everybody's okay. All right? <laughs>